Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, June 8th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates with you, or even if it doesn't, so be it. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This is for everybody. Typically, the people that watch me the most will resonate. Or people that are drawn to me. It can work both ways. You know, if you're drawn to watch a video, you know, that you, you haven't watched this person before, there's usually a reason for it, okay? Um, daily energy for Friday, June 8th. Six of Wands reversed. Somebody isn't progressing as quickly as they should. They're not moving in the direction that they should be. Something is, is uh, not going where it's supposed to be going. Put it that way. Whew. There's just some unexpected conflicts in your life at this time. Something is happening that you didn't expect to happen and it could be bringing you backwards even. Or you could even just feel like it's bringing you backwards. It could be zapping your energy even. Um, there's difficulty in communication as well. There is difficulty in communication, that's for damn sure. Uh, there's definitely some, there's a lack of, of energy, a lack of confidence, a lack of strength right now today. Somebody may be feeling down in the dumps, I'm just saying. I mean, you may feel disgusted with the current situation. You may feel like you're at complete, a feeling of disgust, a feeling of, I just want to get away from this situation. I just need to get out of here. I do. I need to get out of here. What the hell is this? I, I, uh, you may feel like you're been, you've been taken advantage of by another person, all right? Or you're being taken advantage of. Um, there's definitely some... If somebody may be feeling defeated, you know? Things are completely stagnant at this time, stalled. You know, it's like this energy, the energy of the day is kind of zapped. I'm zapped. I'm, I just don't, ha I don't have time for it. I don't, no desire to even, I don't even want to talk to you about this right now. Yeah, somebody's not feeling it. I'm not feeling grateful. I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling abundant. Um, there could even be a lack of self-love here, okay? Somebody is bringing you down, whether it's you bringing yourself down or somebody else is bringing you down. It's like your energy has been zapped. You're feeling out of it. Um, you may need a little bit of time to recuperate and... Um, Figure out what your next step is going to be. You know, it feels like there's a lot going on right now. There's probably a lot of changes happening in your life. And you may be trying to figure out what the forward path is. What do I need to do to bring back the structure and control in my life that's been lost? Something hasn't been progressing. There's been some unexpected news or unexpected conflict or undesirable communication that has come in or hasn't come in. You know, sometimes when you're waiting for communication, it doesn't come in, it can bring you down. There's been some sort of um, hopes and dreams that have been dashed, per se. It's like you've, you've totally dashed my, my dreams of the future. You know, why? 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 And it feels like you, 
you now have to figure out what the next step is. Do I really want to be involved with this self-centered, conceited person who doesn't see my worth, okay? Somebody doesn't see their worth, whether it's you not seeing your own worth or another person not seeing what you're worth, something like that. Let me get this fixed. Friday, June 8th. Whatever has happened, it's like you you aren't progressing towards your wish fulfillment in this situation. It's not happening. It's not happening the way you had hoped. And it's because you're dealing with somebody who makes you crazy. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you know, you're dealing with somebody who... Somebody, I feel like there's another person in this dynamic that is is driving you nuts okay and it's either because they're not communicating with you or they're communicating harshly or they're just being really brash in their approach that could be the case and you may this person may have totally cut you off maybe from communication or cut you off from something else and left you out in the cold and now you're figuring out Okay, all right, I get, I see what happened here. I can't be involved with this um, weak individual and I see the light of this situation and I'm going to have to take the next step. I guess it's time for me to take the next step to regain the structure and control in my life that's been lost, you know. There's been, this has been stalled long enough, it has. Um, somebody's lost their concentration, they've lost their focus, uh, things have been a little chaotic at this time and it's because you're not, you had been left out in the cold, you, you had been left in the dark and it made you feel like you were less than worthy and now you're at this point where I have to take the lead. I realize that I am the boss of my own life and I have to take the lead. If this person doesn't want to communicate with me, if they can't communicate, if there's no action being taken and they're only bringing me backwards, then it's perhaps it's time for me to sever these ties and take the next step. Because, you know, my dreams and my wishes, you know, aren't being fulfilled here. So it feels as though today is a day of taking back control, dominating your own life after you come to the realization that... That you've, there's been too much conflict with this person, whoever it is. There's, there's too much conflict. We're not compatible, you know. And it feels like at this time that you're you're starting to think about your future and what you need to do to bring the balance back. I need to bring the balance, the structure, the organization back to my life and it appears that I'm going to have to uh, dominate this situation. That's what it is. It's about dominating your own life today. Where whatever's been happening, somebody doesn't there's a lack of there's a lack of respect. Somebody doesn't respect you. They they all they do is is cut you down. Okay, so I feel like you you come to the point where you don't even want to deal with it anymore and you decide to sever the ties with this dramatic situation you know you, the, this person brings drama into your life even if they're not with you if you're still thinking about them and you're going back and forth and you're in your feeling um at a loss you know why this happened you know if they're causing you mental conflict which i do see you know even if they're still not in your life i think it's a it's time to sever those ties it's severed time to sever those dramatic ties with this person because all it's doing is draining you somebody is being drained by somebody who was only out to harm them anyway okay they weren't in it to they didn't ever respect you they weren't in it to for the long haul okay it wasn't they don't, the only reason they were in it whoever this person is and i don't know who this is for was because they didn't want to be alone Okay, they just didn't want to be alone. And now, you know, 
somebody is seeing the truth of the situation and it's probably making them feel really, really uh, down in the dumps and now they have to take the lead to get their life back on track. That's what it looks like to me. To me. I think somebody has to cut somebody out, unfortunately, so that they can get their life back on track. And when you cut somebody out, there's several ways to do that. You know, there's mentally, physically... You know, you have to do it both ways. You can't just cut them out one way and keep thinking about it and let it control your life. It's time to take back control of your life. And some of you are going to be doing that. Okay? Because that's what this card is. It's like you, you, you've you gained a lot of wisdom through this experience whether you know it or not. And so you may be going through a period of harnessing your own power through silence okay because i see silence here to figure out what your next step is going to be so i feel like today is about accepting the changes that have happened and and cutting ties seriously cutting ties severing ties with whoever this person that left you in the cold for good and going after your hopes and dreams and wishes and taking the next step and being solid with your decision to move on. Being decisive. I have decided to move on from this dramatic situation. Which is interesting. I'm going to get another card over here. Somebody's trying to find the balance that's been lost. Yeah. I'm looking for stability. I'm looking for security. I'm looking for abundance. Prosperity. Building, building a, I, I'm ready to build my legacy and work on my legacy. And I can't play these games... I can't play these games anymore when my new star is right there. It's right there waiting for you. You've been playing games with a situation or a person. You have. It's like, because you see right here with this two of pentacles, his ships are right behind him. His ships are coming in. They're right behind him. But he's still playing the games with, or she is playing the games with the coins, juggling. Chaotic, out of balance, you know, all they, all, all she or he or whatever it is has to do is turn around and see that the ships are there. They're there. They're there. But they can't see it because they're still playing games. So somebody has to stop playing the games and bring back the structure in their life. And that's when they'll find their independence. I mean, in, well, independence came out, right? They'll find their abundance and security and stability. Okay, you, you can't find it until you stop playing the games. So somebody has to, to come to the conclusion to stop playing the games and be the boss. So that's what's going on today. Somebody is, is about to stand up for themselves and bring back the structure and the organization to their lives that have been lost from this dramatic situation. Maybe we'll get one of these just for the hell of it. And I can't look when I'm shuffling these because I can see the outside. My, you wouldn't believe it. As I'm shuffling these, if I look, I start to get like a little in my head because I'm, I'm reading them as they go. So I just need to look up. If one falls out, then we'll be good. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, it's perfect. It is. Release. Release this drama. Release these games. Stop playing them. It's not serving you. It's, key, it's holding you back. You're not progressing in the right direction. And all it's doing is bringing drama and conflict and undesirable events into your life. There's no reason. Let it go. Let it go. Release. 
Oh my God. Have a good cry. Grief is a doorway to your deepest self. Maybe you need to cry it out. You know, it's I, I heard a story one time. And, you know, it's when you hit rock bottom. You hit rock bottom and you, you beg and you cry and you, you scream to God or the universe or whatever. I can't take it anymore. And that's kind of like what this is. You cry it out. When you hit rock bottom, there's no place to go f but up. You can only go up from there. So maybe today's the day where you finally release what this is that's holding you back and start to bring back the structure and the control to your life. It's going to take some discipline. You're going to have to be decisive. You're going to have to be strong. But it's also time for you to be the boss of your own life. Anyway, that's what I got. Talk to you later.